red lipstick is one of my favorite lipstick colors so if you see me today in red lipstick it means that i've got some good news to spill out yes good news to spill <sighs> I finally got a job in IT as a web developer in England and I just want to share with you which company I dealt with and a little bit about the experience and the whole journey into looking for a job and oh my god I was ghosted a lot of times few interviewed let me just spill it out stay tuned Welcome back to my channel motivated and inspired my name is Fimi Fit and if you're a returned subscriber thank you very much I do appreciate you if you are here and haven't subscribed yet and this is your first time I urge you to go through my content and do subscribe if this is what you are in for I do a little bit of everything on the immigration fitness personal growth and more so today we're talking straight about finding a job that journey can be frustrating exhausting and oh my god <sighs> so if you're going through the phase of looking for a job right now I totally understand you and um, should I say I sympathize with you but I want to encourage you not to give up keep applying it doesn't matter how many jobs you have applied for yet and also don't close your niche try to open up and also look for other positions that you might not necessarily be looking for it. you never know maybe after the interview they see that you have more potential more skills and they might hire you for the actual position that you're looking for but here is my story so i started looking for opportunity as a web developer from june in spain and oh my gosh it has been really 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 difficult but since i knew that i was coming to uk i didn't want any job anyway in spain um, IT in Spanish I didn't want that I wanted an experience of IT position in an English speaking country why because that's the language that we use in IT however in Spain some of the companies like most of the companies if they are local companies they are speaking in Spanish and I do not want to learn the IT jargons in Spanish since I'm at the entry level so I was looking for opportunity on remote basis in the US and in the UK and I was still doing interviews in um, Spain I had some potential jobs that I didn't follow up with because they needed somebody who was living in Spain even though it was going to be a remote basis so no company was really contacting me from UK and if they do they will only tell me that oh we are sorry you've not been selected for the next stage of the interview blah blah blah, blah whatever so like cool then what happened during this period of time i was waiting for my visa to be granted right so the moment i got my visa and i was 100 percent sure that I was going to be in the uk i revisited my cv and i rechanged the contact number to a uk number which was my husband's number and fortunately he was with me in spain at the time he came to visit so i had access to the phone and guess what boom I started receiving calls it was a miracle like I was applying for jobs in the UK and nobody ever was contacting me nobody was writing back to me if they do they will only tell me I haven't been able to post it to the next level but then the moment I changed my number I started receiving calls so there was this call that I received on the 18th of December which was from a recruiter she seems really nice we had a chat she wanted to know a little bit about me my interest and I applied for a job that wasn't really web developing it was business intelligence but then it was entry level so I was really really ready and desperate to start a career in IT and so after my education I was just looking for any entry level position so it wasn't only web development so I was looking for positions like data analyst be it SQL or general even though I didn't have much knowledge in um, data analysis and then also I was looking for position as full stack developer back-end developer 
front end developer or even HTML developer. I also applied for a job that was for content creating and it also involved a little bit of coding where you will use HTML. So I was opened, I was looking for just anything that is a bit linked with the education that I had as a web developer so i will encourage you highly to open your niche don't 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 close it i also um was using platforms like linkedin i was using glassdoor i was using um uk platforms like cv um red um which other one total jobs and then which other one was i using I think those were the basic one I was using, right? And just any job popping up from anywhere, I don't mind. I was just applying, okay? So I have applied for more than 200 jobs in total. And I'm just saying this to encourage you, okay? Don't ever give up. Sometimes you get ghosted for an interview. Uh, they will just not turn out for the interview. They will not write to you. They will not give you any excuses. And most of these people are recruiters. Some recruiters will contact you via LinkedIn for a position that is below you or um, above your experience. Like so many, it's it's not smooth. Like any other thing in life, any other aspect of life, it's not smooth. So you're going to go through a time that you want to give up, you feel like you're not good enough, please don't feel that way. It's just how it is. It is rough. It's not smooth. But you know, if you keep on applying and keep putting that smile and just keep in little, little, little tiny faith in there, you are going to make it. Like apply and apply and apply. So this particular lady contacted me was one of the jobs that I applied for as a business intelligent um, analyst. And then she contacted me, we talk, and then on the 19th, she contacted me on the 18th, on the 19th, I was in the UK, and she said she was going to be on the leave, so she would contact me on 5th of January. Now, when I arrived, I had to apply for my residence, and I must have a residence to be able to be eligible to work, right? Um, so she called me on the 5th of January 2021 and I told her I do not have my residence in the UK yet I'm working towards it and she was like, oh, that is going to be a problem if I do not have that She cannot proceed with me and register me into their system so that she will forward my profile to other companies that might be interested in me so I'm like, okay, don't worry. Now, to be honest with you, I just told her I will get back to her when I do get to the residence. And oh my God, I am just, I'm a fanatic of professionalism. People who put all their all into their work, they're committed and they make sure they give it 100% or even more and this lady her name is Kai Randall and I highly recommend her She's coming from Sarah West um, recruitment agency in England and Of course, no one is paying me to recommend them, but their services are that good. So it's for your own good That's why I am recommending them. It's for you because she worked so hard with me she was contacting me from time to time and asking um i just want to check up on you have you already gotten um any response from the government do you have your residence yet until the time that i got my residence okay i wrote to her and say hey i do have my residence and then she scheduled um a meeting with me more or less an interview it was an interview but it was so lively and we got to know ourselves she asked me uh, professional questions that she needs to know about me my interests my focus where i want to be which company i want to work with and so after that we had this interview i think on the 12th or 14th of february because i got my residence on the 4th of february and then she asked me to forward my cv again to her because i told her i i re um iterated my cv so yes, I sent it to her, she went through and then she advised one or two things to change in it and forwarded it to her, I did. And I told her, look, I also have my portfolio already so I can add up to the CV and she was like, brilliant, this really worked. And she wasn't even asking for portfolio, but if you were a web developer at entry level, I will highly, 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 highly 
advise you to focus on creating projects that you can demonstrate that way your employers will know your ability your capability and the potentials that you do have all right so yeah i added it up and within two days okay she called me back and said listen i spoke to some few companies and two of them got back to me i want you to go online check these companies and if you do like them let me know so that i'll forward your cv with them i'm like okay she was very very professional and i don't even know the right adjective to use in describing her she was just professional very human very kind because sometimes she does send me emails and she had two emails address okay and she will write to one i will not respond she will then wait after two hours or three hours and then write to another email if i don't respond and it's agent she will call me like i am the candidate here i'm the one supposed to be chasing her but <sighs> she works like she's just amazing just amazing okay so finally um one company was interested in me we had a an interview and i was supposed to have like two series of interviews but i had only one interview they were interested in me and well now i do have a job and so i really want to recommend this company sarah west but especially sky randall if you are into it you are into business marketing whatever just contact that company you just type sarahworth.co.uk and also she did tell me that she's also um working with companies who are willing to hire people remotely regardless of whatever they are so don't be shy doesn't matter whether you're in the uk or you're in england or not oh they are very 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 less professional recruitment agency out there so if you have heard this from me I think you should be running you should be checking them up and writing to them and see if they can hook you up with something so this is just it um i will keep you updated how my experience is gonna go with the company i'm gonna start working um next month i'm super excited about the products Ooh. and of course i said this a number of times already that i have to do a video to tell you guys how i diverted from fitness and wellness and well from entrepreneurship into web developing coding or programming it is absolutely difficult it is not easy exhausting like it's crazy it's mind-blowing but it's worth it and it's one of the best 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 experience i've had so far and most of all it field or it sector is the never dying industry so why not tap into it anyway i'll just see more but for now you know one thing that really excites me is when you do invest your time in watching my video engaging with my content sharing them commenting like all of that stuff right when you do that you really make me happy and i'm so grateful in the meantime be you be bold do whatever you want to do say whatever you want to say as long as you're not hurting anyone but most of all stay motivated and inspired i will see you in the next video and i am out stay motivated and inspired